doing today? Welcome back to the Bilsif Show. I got a great show for you today, I do. Freaking right I do. Get the old John Deere rider ready for the springtime, I am. Hey, freaking right I am. Nothing like a fat guy and a little lawnmower, boys. But uh, the old girl there, getting pretty dicked over she is. I put a lot of miles on this bad boy, and she's getting pretty cocked. But I did sharpen the blade at work today. Look at that, boys, fire engine red. Freaking right, that means it's gonna go faster. Freaking right, well. Sharpened her up and gave her a paint job. They say you should always paint blades, boys. It keeps the grass from sticking as bad, eh? And give them a wax job, maybe. Some people even say put some, uh, what the hell is that stuff called, boys? Pam, hey? Eh? Put some Pam on her, boys. Freaking right. So we got the blade done. I got to do an oil change on her. I haven't got the oil yet, boys. It's payday tomorrow. So I got to wait until tomorrow to get that done. But this is all broke and cocked over. So I want to get this off tonight. Figure out some way to mend that up. And I take this string off here because I have no idea why the hell it's even there. It's probably there for something. I gotta straighten up the, the doodad for the thing, my bobber, because it's all cocked over and sometimes it comes out and blows grass all over me while I'm cutting the lawn. I like to move this chair back further because it's just too close, boys. So I might uh, fabricate something there to bring her back further and maybe put a high back on her, eh? Make her like old school grandpa style. So I can lean back. Have my coffee, you know that song? Lean back, hey, eh? lean back. Why wouldn't you? Let's get this off anyways, and then we'll go from there, boys. I think these just pop off, they do. But you gotta be very gentle, careful, easy with them, so you don't break them, boys, because if you break them, then you're really cocked over. Give me the ink. There we go, boys. One off, hey? Eh? Give this one a slide. Here, all. There we go, that one's off. So now we need a star handle screwdriver, we do. There we go. We'll unscrew this, new dad. The old lawnmower, she's been a good little bitch, she has. Hey, she's done everything I told her to do. She's running a little rich too right now, so we might have to check into that. But for now, we gotta fix it one thing at a time we do. I can figure out how the hell it comes off. Oh, just like that, eh? I ain't even unplugged her, boys. It unplugged itself, it did. Look at the stuff in here. Like, what's really going on? How's this thing even run still? He does a friggin' mess in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Check it out. She's a mess, she is. You gotta take a word for it. Why wouldn't you? The GoPro's charging, that's why you're so far away. So hopefully you can see all this crap. But if you can't, hey, it is what it is. There we go. Let's just shut that thing off right freaking now because that's annoying as hell. So what I need, boys, is I need a 10 mil. Oh, can you see me? Probably not. Uh, I don't think this deer key's ever been out of this old girl. I think the old deer's had the key in there since day one it has. But I haven't done an oil change in this thing in eight years, boys. I know. Should be doing an oil change more than that, boys, but hey. So I'll pick up that oil tomorrow, and I'll show you how to change the oil in the old, yep, nine horse Kawasaki, I think, boys. But let's get this 10 mil out of here, and then we can get that off and do some mending. What the hell's that then right there? Oh, it's a gas tank. Sorry about that. So I'll unthread that, like so. What I need to do here is I need to somehow mend something onto there so that holds that and this and that and the other thing, but I don't have any glue, so we can't glue it on, boys. Well, she is just broke right off, it is. So I got an idea. I know it's kind of redneck, but I'm gonna do her, boys. You're just gonna have to go along with me, you are. But you're, now you're too damn close to me. So what I'm gonna do, for sakes. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little bit of shady tree mechanicry work here, boys. Stop looking at my ass, boys. Oh, you're not. You're looking at the ceiling. Good. What the heck did that go here? Now I'm going to be looking in every goddamn drawer for that. Like, what's really going on? Oh, shut up. Come here. How many times have you guys seen me go through this toolbox like it's not even mine? Too many friggin' times. That's how many times. Like, what the hell do they do with that stuff? Oh, God. There it is. So I'm gonna use a little piece of this, I am. You know, this stuff's always handy as hell. You can get it from anywhere, you can. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go underneath, I'm gonna put a bolt and screw through there, I'm gonna bend it over like so, and do this, not the other thing. Friggin' right I am. So where'd that little doodad go? Did I already throw it away? Probably. Kinda needed that still, you dummy. Well, here it is. We need a bend like that, and we need to cut it right there. So now we're gonna look for that for an hour. It should be in this drawer, but it's not. Too much shit, boys. So we'll try to cut it with a pair of side cutters as well, but I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. If you just keep bending it, it might go. There you go. This is gonna go in here like this. You just gotta get the right angles of the old dangle edges. We hold that there like, oh, Jesus. 
Lines right up to a T. So there we go. So that's where I want that. So now we got to drill a hole, Ski. So we want to drill a hole right there. Can't see, can you? There's one. Get this little screwdriver out here, and when that one can you hold that to something? I'd say the right size uh, wrench, but uh, finding the right size wrench at the dirty old Bilsa's is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Great boys, I got lucky. There's one, so now we'll drill the other hole we will. We gotta kinda get it on a cocked angle here. Oh, ow, careful! I love fabricating stuff, boys. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, eh? I don't buy a new lawnmower, for freak's sakes. Perfect for the size of yard I got. Little 36 inch cutter, eh? There you go, boys. So there's one, done. And that looks not too bad. I mean, it's not 100%, but she looks all right. We can we can do that without pass and go. So now what I gotta do is I gotta set that aside and uh, we gotta fix this old cross brace here so she doesn't shiver herself apart. Now we gotta try to get that nut started underneath here somehow. Holy cow, whoever had this before did a lot of fabricating on her too. We got a whole new skirt on the side of her. Freak. Oh, this thing's broken everywhere. See what happens when they get old, they just start to fall apart, they do. Well, there's one piece. We're stripping her down, here. You were the old strip job. You don't remember how this goes back together? I'm not. Keep an eye on this. Make sure you let me know how it goes back together. Boy, wouldn't you? Oh, there we go. Ooh, hey. Ooh. So see, somebody's already fabricated the side of this thing and just made her look real decked over. She's rough shape. I'll tell you right now, she really is. We can mend this back together. I bought a cocked over rider, I did. Wrong size, why wouldn't it be? We'll slap that on there like that. Bah. So bend this down like so, and we'll put this one on like so. This is how the dirty old bills of freaking fabricates freaking plastic. I'm kind of an awkward little bastard as it is. I should've just used rivets. Leave a comment below if you think I should've just used rivets. Don't forget to subscribe and like too, and hit that notification bell button if you like fixing the old uh, John Deere riding lawnmower, boys. Look at that. Decent, it's not 100% solid, but it's better than broken. So there we have the new mounts and stuff made for the plastics we do and that should be freaking decent. Got this one reinforced a little bit so at least it's not busted now. So I'll set that around here and I won't leave it off like I said until I do an oil change I do. Ah, uh, careful. But what I need to do is I want to move this seat back. I want her back like this. But the problem when you do that is you have to bring it up too because well, she goes over the plastic then. So now what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use some square tubing, I think, and weld her on and bring her up and Bob's your friggin' uncle. So if I brought the seat back to over the engine, oh yeah, boys, right over there. We got lots of room. Hey? Eh? Oh, easy on the gas tank there, killer. Fat ass is going to break off the gas tank. Let's get that out of the way right now. Yeah, I know I need a new seat pad, for God's sakes. Let's do some welding on top of the gas tank. He needs to be comfy, she does. Uh, we'll figure this out together, we will. So we'll do five inches, which is right about... There we go, there's one. There we go. Jeez. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mount these, like that, and like that, eh? Careful! She's time for a tacky tacky. The old Bilster does this, loves free. Little fuse, boys! I knew I would've. Oh, hey. Aw. Well, there we go. There's a seat bounce on. Looking right it is. That's hot, boys. So now, what we gotta do is we gotta make an extender plate for it. It should be simple as crap. Because what we're gonna do there, we're gonna use a couple chunks of this, boys. And that will give you my rail. Because you only want to come back a little ways, eh? Tape measure is. What the hell is my tape measure for freak seats? Here, tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. Where did you talk go? Tape measure is right here, boys. Six inches. Five inches. We want ten inches, boys. Ten inches of two of these. Two. You're gonna have all sorts of room to recline on this thing. I'm gonna tacky tacky them things on, boys. Woo! Freaking right you did. Let that old fuse cool down for a minute, we will. And then we'll uh, mount the old seat, eh? Oh, boys. That's gonna be freaking decent right there. That's exactly where I want her. 
We're just gonna weld the seat on, boys, because I'm not gonna move it. I would it, right? It's a little straight air, straight air flipper up. Let's do that right now. Why wouldn't we? Now that we don't have to cut no holes, we don't have to worry about it coming loose. And uh, if somebody else wants to ride it, we better be tall, like the dirty old Bills. Lights off, boys. Lights off, save the fuse. Sewing her on, boys. So there we go. Hey? She works pretty good, boys. Check it out. There we go. Freaking solid, man. I can't sit on it right now because it's too hot, as you know. Look at the extra stretch it gives me. You can't get around the motor now, boys. And then I got enough room for the plastic to go through, and I got enough leg room now. Some of the welds are nice, and some look cocked over, boys, but hey, she is what she is. She is. But it worked out pretty good. That's pretty freaking solid seat right there. It's kind of red green, but I had to step up to cover it. To, like I said, to carry to carry over the plastic. The old GX 75s stretch. Well, there you go, boys and girls. I got the seat moved back on the old deer. I've got the plastic fixed, and then next time we're gonna do an old change on the freaking engine, and she'll be golden. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hopefully I can cobble screw something together here for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it, eh? Freaking right you did. But hopefully everybody's keeping busy like I am, not doing anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now.